Whew. So last week I tried this hair mask. Ooh, this hair mask. And I thought it was okay, to be honest. Um, I did shower, rinsed it off. I didn't use any sort of like hair styling products afterwards. Maybe that's why. But I felt like the day after using this, my hair wasn't as soft. So this week, I'm going to try this one. Yeah. Wait, don't drop. Oh my god, this drops. I'm going to try this one right now because my hair, as you can see, is oily. And this is the Rhythm of the Rain Hair Mask and Scalp Detox. This one I'm actually excited to try because you can put it into your roots. But it says here you want to work it through damp hair. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing I have to put this on wet hair damn it oh, i don't want to do that maybe once i shower and then i'll get back to you guys and let you guys know how it feels Ooh, so i read on their website that you can use it as an overnight mask so you know me i'm gonna fucking put it on right now so then i can leave it on for like at least a good hour or so but this shit is thick do you guys see that i don't even know how i'm gonna cover all of my hair and not wasted but as you can see naturally my hair I mean the ends could be better it's not the healthiest on the ends but look how much product comes out when I squeeze it I'm just gonna spread that and then I'm gonna somehow m put it with I mean put my whole hair in it but it is quite thick, so I'm, I am kind of worried that I might be using a lot. But luckily my hair is thin, so I don't think I'll be wasting too much of it. But let's cover up my hair, and we will leave it on for about an hour or so. So it looks like I'm dyeing my hair, but I'm not. So I'm just going to leave this on for like the next hour or so, or at least before I eat dinner. Yeah, I used quite a lot, and there's still... A lot left in the tube I do like the th like it's a little bit thick in my opinion um, but I feel like this might do a better job than the other one so we shall see and the smell of it it's very like it's kind of like a mix of like sea salt and like some sort of floral I don't know how to explain it but it's nice because there's no silicone in here uh, there's no parabens no sulfates so let's just try this out and then I'll get back and let you guys know how it feels tomorrow because I find like all hair masks feel the same essentially it's just the results actually show of the product on the next following day at least in my opinion so let's see okay so this is the day after using this hair mask and I really like it guys like my hair actually looks somewhat straight well it's not straight right now but throughout the whole day, like, my hair was so silky and soft that my bangs kept falling onto my forehead, which was annoying because, you know, that's why I don't have bangs because I hate how oily it makes your forehead feel. But it just shows right there that this hair mask is really, really good. And my hair looks healthy as heck on the ends. So I think I'm going to use this again tomorrow. But what I want to try is because I didn't, feel like this one was up to par with it I'm gonna try to mix them both together just to get the best of both worlds but I think I'm gonna buy another one if um FabFitFun does a sale on this because this one's really good and I read the reviews too um while I was applying this on and I was like shit must be fucking good and it smells great too so if you guys have a chance and you have like dry ends like me definitely look into this because it's a really really good hair mask okay so i used the voir rhythm of the rain hair mask again but this time i mixed it with the one the other one that i got from fabfitfun which is the perfect repair because this one's a little bit less thick than the other one than the voir one and man it is so good like i'm telling you guys if you guys are looking for a great hair mask that lasts days after using it definitely look into this because look it looks so healthy 
and my ends have always been like dead looking, not soft. It legit looks like I strained my hair or something. Or it looks like my hair is naturally less frizzy and this is amazing. I didn't even use like any sort of products afterwards or any sort of products to like soften it up and this is how it looks and my hair feels thicker so this is also a scalp detox and then I searched it up online just in case you know I want to buy more or whatever um, I couldn't find it in FabFitFun as a restock so hopefully they have that option in the future because I would reorder this again um this vlog is sounding like a review I'm so sorry but this is available in shoppers so if you guys are looking for a great hair mask it is a little bit thick so keep that in mind and I find that it works best when you are using it on dry hair you know you don't have to use it on damp hair so I've been using it on dry hair leaving it for like 30 minutes or so um, and then just rinsing it off oh man it is it is a heaven scent and the smell of it is great too it's like very subtle it smells like um, ocean like if you smell like an ocean candle that's li literally what this smells like so Definitely cop it up, voir, uh, Rhythm of the Rain, Detox, Hair Mask. I think I'm so obsessed with this that I might cut it open just to get every last fucking drop because so good. Whew, so Raptors finally won a game and they led by like over 50 points or something. So I am super proud. But I'm vlogging because I am so obsessed with this tea here and I'm like on the verge of ordering tea right now from David's Tea because I love their matchas but that's not about that today so this is a gr green tea mix that my friend Lysandra actually got for me from Cambodia which is a product of Thailand she's international um but yeah it's so good that I made this last for two years I don't know how but I was very very like careful with how many dosage I did but she also gave me this one, which is the Thai tea uh, mix from Thailand. So it smells so good too. Like if they can make a perfume that smells like tea, I think I would be all over it, especially specifically matcha tea. So I'm thinking of ordering from David's Tea, um, I'm saying tea a lot, uh, the birthday mix, which I'm like, ooh, maybe. Um, also a lot of matchas. I'm obsessed with matcha. So if you're thinking of getting me a gift, just get me green tea matcha. It's good as fuck. So besides Tim Horton's coffee, if I'm looking for teas, that's the ish that I go for. Um, so this is all that. So depending on when my roommate moves, I'm thinking of like really organizing my cupboards. So this is my side right now and she has the other side. But I'm a huge fan of like the vanilla matcha. Um, the peach matcha is not bad, uh, strawberry, blueberry, you know, all that jazz. The ones that I'm like okay about and I knew I was going to be like iffy about it would be the uh, lavender matcha. I thought that one was too floral for me. And then the uh, ginger matcha, I thought that was eh, it was okay. Um, Bubblegum matcha is really good. And the, what is the other one? The berries and cream matcha is really good too. So... I took a nap, like it was a weird nap, you know when you're just laying down and you're just kind of like half asleep? I was low-key scared that I was going to get like a sleep paralysis because usually I get those when I'm taking my naps or like I'm overly tired. Um, but yeah, like I just took one, as sad as it sounds, because today literally there was nothing planned. I already did my groceries earlier this week, um, I did some shopping last week, so it's kind of like, you know, I don't want to make it a habit. Although I do love shopping. I don't want to make it a habit to pick that up again. Especially if I'm um, going to be living on my own soon. And yeah, like I'm not going to lie guys. I am a little bit nervous to live on my own now. Because I'm just kind of like, you know, with this pandemic rolling out. Ontario's going into another lockdown. I'm just kind of like, shit. Like what's going to happen? Just working really hard and saving money. And just hoping things work out for the best at this point. Um... But yeah, I'm not really making dinner today. I'm just going to eat like two hard-boiled eggs just because I'm not that hungry today. Um, and then tomorrow I'm going back to work. And yeah, uh, my roommate is slowly moving her things out. So I think within the last month, I'm probably going to help her like really clean up and see like what she wants to keep and what she doesn't want to keep just so I can start like decluttering my own things too, you know what I mean? Um... But yeah, my friend who is thinking of 
moving in, she is going to come and see the apartment, I think mid-April. But again, if I've learned anything, and this is not on them, okay? If I've learned anything, it's not to rely, sorry, there's something stuck on this camera, is not to rely on anybody, um, especially on any sort of st stability. Don't rely on anybody uh, for like emotional stability, financial stability, physical stability because you are your own car you drive it you know what i mean like was that a great analogy but yeah like you just gotta take care of yourself guys like it's i know it's fucking hard and i know you know with the circumstances that life is literally shoving your face constantly just keep pushing keep pushing do everything in your body that you can do while you're still young and while you're still capable and trust me it will work so now that it's steeped the egg is a boiling, so I'm just going to turn that off. I'm going to mix it with, like, my usual creamers and my soy milk. And I'll let you guys know how it tastes, because I'm quite excited. Look at my mask knee. So annoying. Like, these ones are somewhat healing, but they're kind of fresh, you know? And then these ones, they were there, like, for the longest time. So it's just healing right now. And then this one's finally gone. I swear, when the weather changes, so does my skin. Oh man, so it looks legit like the bubble tea milk tea. Well, Thai milk tea to be exact, but let's take a sip. So I just added some vanilla soy milk and two scoops of the creamer, so let's try it out. And I don't know about you guys, but I can drink coffee at any time of the day. I can drink tea at any time of the day, and I love the taste, and it makes me comforting. So makes me com brings me comfort. Oh, English. Ooh, it's actually not bad. I can see myself cooling this up and then cooking some tapioca on the side and making my own bubble tea because that is pretty bomb.com. And don't mind this strand here. I was mixing like the hair mask I think from earlier and yeah, I just didn't want to waste the, the leftovers. Oh, that is so comforting. Okay, all right. I'm going to eat my eggs and call it a night. So I'll catch you guys in another clip. Hello strangers, so it's official, I think Toronto, I think, from what I've been hearing from my friends and stuff, Toronto is going on yet another lockdown, which I called, a lot of people were like, no, that's not gonna happen, I'm like, dude, it's gonna happen, I, unless we just start bending the rules and not caring, then yeah, probably it won't, but I knew it was gonna happen, because numbers are going up, people don't care, and there's a lot more people who are more prideful than trying to understand that this is a pandemic, guys. Like, we're all living bacteria, and unfortunately, this bacteria has killed um, a lot of people and infected a lot of people. So just get off your high horse. Just putting my two cents here. It's not factual. But get off your high horse and just, like, think about other people, okay? Rant over. But anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys what I ordered from David's Tea. And the order actually came really fast. I was contemplating whether or not to order it. Um, but then later I was like, shit, there's a sale going on. And I really want to like, you know, stock up on some tea, especially if I'm trying to cut down on juices and stuff. So let me just put you guys somewhere. I'm trying to figure out where to put you. Uh, come on, stay. I just want you to stay. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay, let me figure out where to put you. Where shall I put you? Okay. There. So it came really fast. I ordered it on, I want to say, Saturday. Probably Saturday. And today is uh, Wednesday. So it got in pretty fast. So, some teas that I've ordered is the Matcha Matsu. It's crazy because this one on its own is pretty expensive. So, I got the uh, 12 Matcha Single Sachets just because it's already, you know, um, laid out for you. It's already uh, measured for you. So, that's great. And it smells awesome. I have high hopes for that one. I'm really hoping it just tastes like straight up matcha. I got the frozen raspberry tea. This is so good when you 
steep it and then uh, put it in the fridge. So this is one of my favorite like flavors. Um, but I just thought I would have bought more, but I want to try different flavors. Um, this is the dragon fruit aloe. I've heard great things about this one. This and aloe glow. I've heard great things about it. So I was like, ooh, I have to pop that. And then I also got sleepy lychee. This one I'm still debating whether or not to give it to my uh, roommate uh, as like a goodbye gift. But there's that one. It's crazy because this is the same amount of tea, but the packaging looks so different. But yeah, sleepy lychee, and there's no caffeine in there because I know my roomie likes to drink non-caffeinated drinks at night. So I just thought this is the orange dreamsicle matcha. As you guys know, I've tried so many matcha flavors. And when I saw this one, I'm like, ooh, let's try it out. Uh, strawberries and cream tea. Ooh, that sounds so good. There was another tea that I wanted to try. I think it was called uh, Frosted Cereal. And apparently it's supposed to mimic the taste of, like, leftover milk after, you know, you left cereal in there. Oh, man, that one was sold out quick. So didn't even get a chance, but this one sounds yummy. Strawberry matcha. I've tried this one before. It's really great. If you guys are wondering how I usually mix my matcha, it's usually like I just put a scoop of powder, boil boiling water, let it sit so then the powder can kind of like um, dissolve into the hot water. In my opinion, you don't really need the whisk. Um, and then later you add like creamer in there and soy milk and then it's, it's good. I got two of these matcha ice cream teas because, you know, sounds good. And then this was on sale too. I'm so excited because I right now I don't have room in my side of the fridge. But once my roommate moves out, I'm going to put this in the fridge where I can like steep some tea and then just have iced tea on deck. And I can just use regular tea bags too because I used to do that religiously. But then later the glass um, bottle that I had broke. So this one, it's like plasticky. So I just have to like make sure I take good care of this one and not pour it with boiling water. So this is really cool. If I remember the prices, I will list them down, but I, I think the sale is over now, so I don't think it matters. And then I also got this. This one, I'm definitely giving it to my roommate. And she doesn't watch my vlogs, so that's totally fine. But look at this glass. When I, I want to get her this other one, but then it only came in a set. And I don't think she would benefit off like an eye mask and stuff like that. But look at this. Because she always uses a mug to seep her tea in. And then later, you know, the mug gets dirty. And it just, I don't know. I just want to treat her out to a new mug. And hopefully, don't break this one if you're watching this, Anna. Don't break it. But look how beautiful this is. It's so pretty. It's like... To me, I think she would really, really appreciate it and the delicateness of it. But the one I want to get her had like moons and stars, but I think this is just as beautiful. I would have gotten one for myself too, but I have so, honestly, I have so many mugs that I would ra rather be gifted one of these than buy it for myself, you know what I mean? So I'm going to gift this for her and uh, I'm probably going to get her some other stuff that are small just so like when she moves... It's not like big things that she has to bring around, you know what I mean? So yeah, that is my David's Tea Hall. But basically, um, with work, my boss just messaged me and said that tomorrow we're going to do just curbside. So it's going to be curbside again. A part of me is like, yes, but also it's like, come on. Come on, Ontario. Like, get your shit together. Like, stop doing these half-ass lockdowns, okay? And just do a straight up lockdown. If we did this way before, I think this would have been done and over with. Easier said than done, but also the people who are doing anti-mask rallies. Like just, y'all can do that after the pandemic leaves, all right? Like during the pandemic, we don't need that sort of negative energy right now. We just need to all work together. Just wear a shirt over your freaking mouth. And yeah, but I'm not going to get into that because I don't know if any of you guys are... Like, I don't want to disrespect anybody's opinion, but I just feel like I've known of some people who had COVID and, you know, I've heard of stories of people's friends who passed away from COVID. So I would rather be respectful to those people than those who still have their lives and are just choosing to be ignorant.
yeah, that is my two cents. Don't have to take it, but I will listen to your two cents as well, as long as you listen to mine. But anyways, I think today I'm just going to chill, um, probably edit this vlog, because I think I have more footage from last week, and then just chill around. Yeah. Whew, just worked out. I've been seeing a lot of, like, posts about Chloe Ting, and she looks like a bad Ting, so I was like... Okay, I need to- I want to try her stuff out and look at all the sweat. There's a point where like, I don't know if you guys can see that part of my mat right there. That's all sweat. Kind of gross. But I'm thinking of doing her workouts at least for- Because it says it's a three week weight loss challenge. So I don't know how that works. So I'll read into that. But I want to try it out just to see. And yeah, I, I hate working out. Like, I know I do it almost every day with weights and stuff. But when you start seeing results slowly, it kind of motivates you to keep going. So, and I'm breaking out so much on my face, but whatever, it is what it is. Sweat is good for the body. Ooh. Okay, so I'm gonna try this matcha ice cream uh, tea, just cause I wanna try it out and see how it is. But I also wanna film my reaction to the smell. Don't mind me, I'm watching Gerilyn fan. If she ever watches my vlog, that would be pretty, pretty sick, but I highly doubt that she would ever. But let's open this up and smell it. And it's low caffeinated, um, so I'm pretty sure it should be fine. Struggling to find a spot for you guys. Oh, there you go. Okay. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up and they described this as sweet and creamy so we're gonna Ooh, there's like i don't know if you guys can see that but there's like pieces of white chocolate i think Ooh, it smells so good oh shit it smells really good so i'm just gonna take like a mini scoop just because i don't want to Ooh. And I got two of these bags just because, in case I ended up loving it. Here's a few scoops. And then it says here you gotta steep it for at least three or four minutes. So let's try it out and then see how it tastes. Okay, so we're gonna pour the hot water. And for this drink, I don't think I'm going to add any creams, just because it's kind of late. And I just want something to help with, um, you know, it's kind of like a healthy dessert in a way. So, that's how it looks, and we will come back in about three minutes. Alright, so, seeped it for like about maybe, I want to say five minutes. So let's take away the bag. And I don't really add um, honey to my teas anymore just because honey has a really strong aftertaste. So I'm just drinking it as is. Mmm. It's actually not bad. It kind of tastes like a matcha latte, except more water based instead of cream based. I know that sounds weird, but just think of a matcha latte without the creamer in it. So, kind of like a vegan version of uh, matcha. Damn. It does have almonds in there though, so if you guys have any allergies to nuts, maybe don't go for this. But, I like it. I can actually drink this as like a nightly thing. 